Which you guys got another video here for you. How full should I let my hard drive get? I get this question quite a bit. I see a lot of people with hard drives looking just like this one, where it's completely red and full up. And this is their main Windows drive. You may even be getting messages like low disk space and you need to free up some space for this particular drive. Why are you running a machine? with a full drive like this. This is not good for the PC at all. It's not good for the hard drive and you're gonna run into a lot of problems. So let me show you some of the issues you may run into when running your PC with a full hard drive like this one. This is an SSD. You can see we do have 35 gigabytes of space here available. Now, depending on where you look on the internet, they're all gonna tell you different amounts of recommendations for free uh, space available on that drive, maybe 10%, 15%, or even 20%. I would more go for the 20%, but you really don't want to be pushing it too much. Uh, otherwise, you're going to run into problems. So you can generally leave 10% uh, free to avoid any sort of fragmentation of the drive. The drive does need to have available space to run regular tasks like uh, optimizing your drive for defragging the drive and also, you know, running trim commands and things like that on your computer. So you don't really want to maximize the amount of space on your drive and leave no space at all for it to be able to do any system tasks like that. Also, you may run into issues when you're doing Windows updates. We all know Windows updates likes to have a free bit of space to store files and things like that. So if you're running a full drive with no space available, you can run into major errors. So it's highly recommended to leave some empty space on your hard drive or SSD because your drive space is needed for multiple uh, tasks and purposes. So for instance, if you're doing an update, it's going to need a little bit of space to maybe run out that feature update where it's a big update and Microsoft will normally store data and files and then of course run the updates for the feature update and then basically copy all your data over and you do need to have enough space for things like that also big uh, updates for your games and other things like that if you're running them on your c drive you will need to have space available you can run into issues like this one here where it says we could not complete the update undoing changes do not turn off your computer this is when basically uh, you might not have enough space for the update to continue and again it will roll back there's more reasons for this particular issue and i'll make a video on that separately but that can be one cause of that particular error right there also when you're going back to a previous version of windows windows needs to have enough space available so you can roll back to the previous version and this can cause a lot of problems if the drive is full and you don't have enough space you can end up in a loop where you can't get out of it and it can cause major problems another one is system restore if you have system restore on the system and you use it and you're trying to roll back using a system restore point and you have no space available you could end up running into major problems where you end up with a crash system or even a blue screen of death and this can be really bad uh, for your uh, data because if you don't have backups of your data you could end up uh, corrupting the operating system so you may get some experts recommending uh, only 10 percent of free space but i would always push for the more higher amount of space available i.e 20 percent or even more if you can afford to because it should be in the blue if it's starting to get in the red you're going to end up with issues now i'm going to copy some files over to this drive here and you'll start to see some issues happening on the actual computer itself now once the drive starts to fill up there's going to be very little uh, space available and empty blocks that the computer is looking for to store your files it will start to run out and it's going to start searching for them and you can end up with some lagging like this on the screen as you can see here the mouse cursor on the screen is starting to lag and starting to drag and slow up and it can even freeze for a little split seconds here. You can see micro stutters freezing and this can affect your gameplay or whether you've got applications open and you're trying to work with them. Your programs will open up a computer uh, cache file and store these. And it basically can cause an issue when there's not enough space on your computer. And you can see here it's really slowing up and there's a real issue with it copying this data over. 
You can even see some micro stuttering on the screen here and you can see the actual box being dragged around. Now I'll cut that a little bit short because there was quite a bit of it going on and it was starting to worry me a little bit because there is a lot of data on this drive that I want to actually back up. But you can see here by copying this over, it is starting to freeze. And uh, this is a problem with SSDs. You've got to be super careful because this thing could start to crash, freeze, or even show a blue screen of death, and you would end up losing that data. You've got to be super careful. So remember, a full hard drive can cause many issues because it reduces the amount of functional space needed by the computer to work correctly. You can end up with Blue screens just look like this one here. It may be a different message down there, but you get the general idea. This can happen, and you could be copying data over at that particular time when you suddenly get that blue screen, or it may crash back to Windows uh, and have to reboot the system. So you've got to be very, very careful when filling the drive up this much. So if you're always running out of space on your C drive and it's always full, then consider upgrading it because you can run into problems and it could shorten the life of that drive. You can see here the best way to do that to free up space is get a mechanical drive, a larger mechanical drive because these are quite affordable, and then just basically copy all the data over to there. You can even run games on another drive like a mechanical drive if you wanted to because SSDs are not quite there yet in pricing when it comes to storage against a mechanical drive. A four terabyte SSD or NVMe drive is gonna cost you way more than it would to buy a mechanical drive of equal size, like four terabytes. So bear that in mind. Yes, they are a lot slower than a SSD or an NVMe, but at the end of the day, it's the storage space that's important to you if you have a lot of data and you're always filling up your drive. So always go for a larger storage capacity. To stop the risk of that drive having issues or failing, you want to get a larger storage capacity drive. So is it bad to fill up your hard drive capacity? Yes. I hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video. I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.